I have to admit, yeah. that tush is serious. Wait a minute. <laughs> have you ever had anybody walk up to you and tell you, now listen, the first thing I want to tell you is, <laughs> you ain't going to get no... I had to tell you, though. Wait a minute. Tush is serious. So what you got to do is take some <laughs> stuff in I tell you. Bro, Even though uh, it seems like they're way out of... Tush, tush, tush. Have Come you ever thought of nice today being the letter W? In, boy, w stands for one to the witch. Flares out here. You know, man. one to the witch got a weasel. <laughs> then, uh, got a weasel around her neck said, for a necklace. She said, <laughs> <laughs> a what? And a, and a worm around her waist for a belt. Well, yes, it her is. hair is made out of W. Yes, it is. And she rises a broom called a wicked. <laughs> and she's a wicked witch. And I'm saying simply this one to the witch, one to the witch. One little witch. <laughs> Honey, folks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of Pittsburgh. <laughs> Welcome to our program, which features Ruth Underwood on percussion, Napoleon Murphy Brock on tenor sax and lead vocals, Chester Thompson on drums. Tom Fowler on bass, George Duke on keyboards, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you in the audience. I think I'm in tune. I could be wrong, but you know, what do I know? We're gonna open this, this show up just like we opened up the last one with an easily recognizable, extremely inconsequential number by the name of Stinkfoot, and it goes just like this. In the dark. Where all the fevers grow Under the water Where the shark bubbles blow In the morning By your radio Do the walls close in to suffocate ya you. you ain't got no friends And all the others that hate ya Does the life you've been leading gotta go? Well, let me straighten you out About the place I know Now get your shoes and socks on People, it's right around the corner Over by Bob Duffy's pants Out through the night And the whispering breezes To the place where they keep their imaginary diseases Out through the night And the whispering breezes To the place where they keep their imaginary diseases <laughs> call this disease bromidrosis and well they should but us regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional python boot oh this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of stink foot yes how true that is you know my python boot was too tight I couldn't get it off last night a week went by, and now it's July. I finally got them off, and my girlfriend cried. You've got stink foot. Stink 
foot, darling. Your stinking foot puts the hurts on my nose. Stink foot, stink foot, I ain't lying. Can you rinse it off, do you suppose? Well, here, Fido, here, Fido. Bring the slippers, little puppy. Yes, that's a good dog. Arf, arf, arf. from this into another song that deals with the subject of flying saucers. It's a tender little number that George is going to sing for you. The name of the tune is Inca Roads, and it goes like this. Oh, no, it's too fast for Ruth. She's... One, two, three. It's too slow for Ruth. to understand that Ruth is going to play all the notes right in this version. Well, I don't 
don't know, but it looked like it was all right to me. Be all right tomorrow. What? It's a dirge at this tempo. What is all the Ruth asked for it? Then I'll be here, go, then I'll be here, go. Fly along the mountains. Find a place to park it. Sound. Park it. Sound. Park it. Park it. Or did someone build a place to leave a space for such a thing?
Just a little dick barber. Was she running? Did she have a motor? Or was she something different? Welcome, Molly Queen. Welcome, Molly Queen. Welcome, Molly Queen. At the armadillo in Austin, Texas. Ah. Or did someone go to place or leave a space for just a stick to lies? Chester's thing. A roof. Did a poker back up from somewhere rather? Did a poker back up from somewhere rather? Did the Indians for the bell another hill? Thunderwood, ladies and gentlemen. George Duke, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Hmm? 
Hey, Brian, is the marimba distorted out there? What? You don't have it at all? Ah, we have some broken equipment here. You ain't done. Oh, just calm down. We can go ahead. Okay. Coy, Coy. Can you check this marimba? Well, I'd like to encourage you to make as much noise as you like because it'll occupy this time while we try and make sure everything works. So go right ahead. Coy, he says he's not receiving that at all out there, so... Ah, oh, shut up. Listen, as soon as we get everything working, we'll do yellow snow. Do we have the marimba yet? You getting that, Brian? Still not getting it. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, we're not going to play this, this music unless all the instruments are working right, so you just have to be patient. Hey, the marimba is out there. Just to let you know what you missed at the end of that other song. This is, this is the sad but true story of how we wound up getting a, a record on the radio. <laughs> you see, there's this guy here in Pittsburgh from 13Q, see? Uh-oh. Well, do you want to hear the story or not? Here's the story. Come here. See this guy here? <laughs> Dennis is his name. Say hi, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> Clever. Hi, Dennis. Dennis from... <laughs> now listen carefully. History here. See, Dennis, uh, one day, he got a hold of the Apostrophe album, and he says, I wonder what would happen if Yellow Snow was short enough to play on the radio. So he took it upon himself to cut it down to make it playable on AM radio. Oh, tut tut. Then, as if by magic, when he put it on the, the AM radio station, some children liked it and called up. <laughs> The, the AM audience said, hey, hot. And so suddenly the record started going up, up, up the charts. And other radio stations started playing it. And the next thing we knew, we had a pseudo bogus hit single on our hands. And it's all his fault. So take a bow, Dennis. Now go back there and hide before they get you, Dennis. And here it is. Come 
I was an Eskimo. Frozen wind began to blow. Under my boots and around my toes. Frost had bit the ground below. Was a hundred degrees below zero. Money don't go to the show. Well, I turned around and I said, ha, ha. Well, I turned around and I said, ha, ha. Watch out where the husky's going, don't you eat that yellow snow. Watch out where the husky's going, don't you eat that yellow snow. Well, right about that time, people, a fur trapper who was strictly from commercial. Strictly commercial. Yeah, the unmitigated audacity to jump up from behind my igloo. Peek-a-boo, peek And it started into whipping on my favorite baby seal With a lead-filled snowshoe yes, yeah, Wow Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, With a lead 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 field Lead field With a lead-filled snowshoe Snowshoe We said peek a peek With a lead with a lead filled snow shoe. He said peek a boo. He went right upside the head of my favorite baby seal with a lead filled snow shoe. And he hit him on the nose. And he hit him on the fin. And he whapped him. And he smacked him. And he, you know, that got me just about as evil as an Eskimo boy can be. Then I proceeded to reach down with my patented Nanook of the North well blubber mitten. I reached down and I bent down and I scooped down and I gathered up a generous mint full of the deadly yellow snow. The deadly yellow snow from right there where the huskies go. And then I proceeded to rub it all into his beady little eyes with a vigorous circular motion hitherto unknown to the people in this area but destined to take the place of the mud shark in your mythology. The vigorous circular motion, here it goes now, rub it! Pounds. 
And I pounced again. And I jumped up and down on the chest of a great googly boogly. I injured the fur trapper. Oh, and he got up and he looked around and he, he said, I can't see. I can't see. Snow cone and stuffed it in my right eye. He took a dog to snow cone and stuffed it in my other eye. And the husky wee wee, I mean the doggy wee wee, has blinded me. And I can't say temporarily. Well, the fur trapper was hurting, folks. He had the dog doing his right eye. He had the dog doing his left eye. He couldn't see nothing. He was really in trouble. So what did he do? He remembered right at that moment an ancient Eskimo legend wherein it is written. And whenever it is that they write it on up there, that if anything bad ever happens to your eyes as a result of some sort of conflict with anyone named Nanook, you have to go trudging across the tundra. Mile after mile, trudging across the tundra. All the way down to the... The parish of St. Alfonso. Now, as you know, St. Alfonso is the patron saint of the smelt fishermen of Portuguese extraction. And his parish is located at the, at the mouth or the orifice of the Columbia River Delta. In the next episode, if you'll just keep your eye on Ruth, as Ruth gets down for you and plays this snappy lick, We'll take you to St. Alfonso's. Here it goes. Hey. Well, here we are. At St. Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast Well, I stole the margarine And waited on the bingo cards In lieu of dealer train I saw a handsome parish lady Make her entrance like a queen She was totally chenille and her old man was a moline. As she abused the sausage patty, pity patty, pity patty, pity patty, pity. Said, why don't you treat me mean? Hey, hurt me, hey, hurt me. Hey, hurt me. Alfonso's pancake record. Get off the bus where I stole the margarine. of his plot. He was looking rather bleary. He forgot to watch the clock. Cause the, the night before, before behind the door, the leprechaun had strolled. He stroked it. 
the night before behind the door that we're gone at school. The night before behind the door that we're gone at school. Here's Fire. Set him off in such a frenzy, he sang Lock Around the Clock. And he chopped it off with him. And he chopped it off with him. And he chopped it off with him. As he stumbled on his car, he was lighted as a stiffen and ripped right through his side. Oh, Saint Alfonso would be proud of me. Shouted down the block. Come with this focus, gonna make him spirit to two o. Won't you eat my sleazy pancakes just for Saint Alfonso? They're so light and fluffy white. We'll raise a fortune by tonight. They're so light and fluffy white. We'll raise a fortune by tonight. They're so light and fluffy brown. They're the finest in the town. They're so light and fluffy brown. They're the finest in the town. Good morning, your highness. Ooh, I'm proud of two of your snowshoes. Good morning, your highness. Watch Ruth drop her sticks. <laughs> the mystery man came over and he said, I'm out of sight. He said, for a nominal service charge, I could reach Nirvana tonight. If I was ready, willing, and able to pay him his regular fee, why, he would drop all the rest of his pressing affairs and devote his attention to me. But I said, look here, brother. Who you jiving with that cosmic debris? Who you jiving with that cosmic debris? Look here, brother. Don't you waste your time on me. The mystery man got nervous and he fidget around a bit. He reached in the pocket of his mystery robe and he whipped out a shaving kit. Now I thought it was a razor and a can of foaming goo. But he told me right then when the top popped open There was nothing his box won't do With the oil of Aphrodite And the dust of the Grand Wazoo He said you might not believe this sack But it'll cure your doggy too Hey, look here brother Who you jiving with that cosmic Who you jiving? Who you jiving? Don't you waste your time on Ralph.
long time ago somebody tried to tell me. And then I was coming out if I was gonna play the blues. Well, I thought I'd turn around and look that sucker right now, and I told him I said, You kiss my mouth. You crazy. I said, Come here, I'm gonna tell you something. I said, I love to play the blues. I love to do this shit. troubles of my own, I said, and you can't help me out. 
So take your meditations and your preparations and ram them up your snout. But I've got a crystal ball, he said, and they held it on up to the light. So I snatched it all away from him. And I showed him how to do it right. Good God, ain't it funky now? I wrapped a newspaper around my head so I'd look like I was deep. I said some mumbo jumbos then, and I told him he was going to sleep. I wrapped his wings in pocket wide, and everything else I found. I had that turkey hypnotized, he couldn't even make a sound. Well, I proceeded to tell him his future then. As long as he was hanging around, I said, The price of meat has just gone up, and your old lady has just went down. Oh, dear brother, who you driving with that cosmic debris? Now, is that a real punch or is that a Sears puncher? I really want to know. Don't you know you can make more money as a disc jockey? So don't you waste your time on me. Thank you. Okay. The name of this song, no, no, but you're close. The name of this song is Chester's Gorilla, a love song of sorts. I mean, this is really dynamic, so you better watch out. Was the daughter of a wealthy Florentine hogan? Oh, yeah. Read them and weep was a adjustable slogan. She was a debutante, daisy with a color note organ. She drove a 59 more, yeah. Well, that's the kind of step she takes When a heart breaks, heart breaks That's 
That's the kind of sound she makes Rock on it with a crab cake Like it's when her fan belt truck and got shorted. Ointment, battery leaks could nearly cost her a quarter. She didn't want to go home and watch the pesto go mortar. Later she speaks on how Dick Barber might court her. Na 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 na
This song is Big Swifty. Yeah. I must feel your vibes, man. Well, I knew you was gonna do that. Man. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> 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 